Okay, welcome. Uh, my name is Andreas Baumbach. I'm an interventional cardiologist in uh, London. Uh, and I am here uh, with my co-chair to talk about uh, what is a healing targeted drug eluting stent and how is it different from a normal stent? Patrick. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Andreas. I'm uh, Patrick Serois. Uh, I'm in the Galway at the University of uh, Ireland. And uh, I'll try to answer the question of uh, Andreas. I mean, we are going to talk to you about the uh, HT Supreme and H3 is stand for healing targeted drug eluting stand, a new class of deaths focus on uh, rapid healing. Uh, it's quite amazing. It is based on a technology called electrografting, which is a ultra thin base layer covalently. That means very strongly bounded to the metal, to the surface of the stent. It acts as a blood metal barrier to eliminate the ion release and interaction. And it's very conformal and, and has a uniform surface, which act as a biological Velcro. I'll explain that a little bit later because Velcro is coming of two French word, <laughs> velour and crochet, yeah? And that surface is very thin, as you could see, 200 nanometer, so it's really on top of the metal. And this coating is very important because without this uh, electro coating, you can have uh, delamination of the coating, fracture, peeling, and that's really a void after the electro crafting coating. Be, even if you push the device in a torturous path, track test, and uh, expand the device with the balloon. It is quite remarkable. Uh, on that cartoon, you see the metal at the bottom, and then you have this colorful uh, substance, which is a, a monomer solution of uh, polybutyryl metacrylate. And then if you put an electric current in that surface, you have a stretching of these uh, molecules. They get uh, uh, a line perpendicular to the surface of the metal in a kind of uh, brush-like structures uh, is only 200 nanomer and that baseline coating facilitate the attachment of the polymer polylactide glycolite uh, coating uh, and you see it's uh, interdigitated in these baseline coatings. So it's really a, a top technology. So what is remarkable with this technology that the polymer will degrade within 60 days. That's the HT Supreme. If you think about the synergy, it's already three, four months. Or the Orsiro, it's 13 months. And of course, you have the permanent coating. If you look at drug release, you can see in vitro that the release is quite fast. I mean, 28 days, if you look at the graphic HD in uh, yellow, orange, compared to the curve of illusion of the science and the resolute drug dose is 1.2 microgram per millimeter square. The whole strategy or philosophy behind that uh, uh, strut illusion is not to give too much cytostatic uh, drug to the uh, reconstruction for to prevent the reconstruction of the neo intima without blocking the endotelization of the device. And then uh, the peak of the drug, which is 10 microgram per gram, is really at 80 days, a critical moment when you have the massive migration and proliferation of the smooth muscle cell. And then looking at the orange curve, the drug drop uh, below a therapeutic level. If you compare that to the synergy, you see that the drug stay much longer above a uh, therapeutic level, an inhibitory level. So we want to have something short, powerful, but uh, leaving the same very quickly. And the result of that is um, uh, the Evans Blue is a dye. 
40,000 kilo dalton. And is, if it goes through the endothelium, if the endothelium is permeable to the dye, uh, the stented region be, will become blue. And that's a sign that the endothelium is not healthy. And you see in the mid portion, you have a bare metal stand, which is quite white, is a little bit blue. And if you look at the upper panel, you have the uh, healing supreme, which is a little bit, bit more blue, but not really permeable to the Evans blue. And at the bottom, you have the uh, science. And in terms of histology, uh, you could see that the uh, HD supreme has a pretty nice endothelium cover and uh, the connection between all the cell, that's technically the VE cadherin is pretty good as well as the protein 120. Andreas, it's your turn to talk about the clinical trial, a very important one. Thank you. Uh, yes, well, I think from this uh, overview, we see that there are now several thousand patients uh, uh, in trials with the uh, Supreme uh, from the first in man to recently the Pioneer. The Pioneer 3, the biggest uh, study we call a Morecomer study um, in 1,629 patients who were randomized uh, two to one between the Supreme and uh, a member of the Xions or Promus family. Um, patients could be included uh, with several lesions, up to three, de novo lesions in up to two vessels, and the lesion had to be covered with one stent. That was the inclusion exclusion. Um, and within that, we then had a follow-up at one year with the primary endpoint being the target lesion failure at 12 months. This is already the uh, result. You can see uh, 5.3 and 5%, a very low target lesion failure rate in both groups and absolutely no difference. Uh, Non-inferiority uh, was proven. Uh, in this trial. We also found a very favorable safety profile with numerically less uh, death and target vessel MI. That was of course not statistically significant because of the low numbers. Uh, there was no significant difference between uh, the groups in terms of ischemia driven target lesion revascularization. Uh, you can see again here on the left, uh, the combined endpoint death or target vessel MI, uh, not different, but numerically lower in the supreme group. And then in the stent thrombosis, uh, there was no difference. Again, uh, very low rates of uh, late stent thrombosis in the supreme group. So overall, uh, very good performance, uh, clearly equivalence to the current market standard and a very good safety profile. Very good. Thank you very much, uh, Andreas. So let's uh, finish that conversation about the trial design of the uh, Pioneer 4, mm -hmm. uh, which is going to start very soon. And I think there is... Uh, three important component in this uh, trial. First of all, thanks to Pioneer 3, we don't have to prove anymore any superiority of non-inferiority with the best in class. It has been done in the Pioneer 3. So we can come back to somewhat the mainstream of uh, interventional cardiology. On one hand, what we call an all-comer trial that means uh, all kind of syndrome, uh, stable angina, but unstable angina, acute coronary syndrome, STEMI, non-STEMI, name it. Secondly, uh, all commerce means also all kind of lesion, might be main stem, might be bifurcation, total occlusion, in stem with stenosis. Uh, all kind of lesion can be uh, included bypass graph, et cetera, et cetera. 
And the third point, it is an unrestricted use of the unrestricted use of the, the stand. 30 sites in Europe. And then the second key point of the trial, on one hand in red, we use the HD Supreme in both arm. In the red arm, we have an angel guidance and usual care. That means you use basically your subjective visual assessment, the high ball to say, I'm going to treat that lesion and spare that one. But in the blue arm, we are using QFR. And as you, you know, QFR is a, a way to judge the lesion physiologically, but it's derived from angiography. You, you got this beautiful, colorful uh, angiography and what is uh, the transition between yellow and orange has to be treated. So that's the second big component of the trial. And finally, we embrace uh, the concept of uh, monotherapy at the bottom, you could see that only uh, aspirin will be given for uh, one month. So you have a dual antiplatelet therapy with Ticagalor for one month, then Ticagalor for 11 months alone, and then you can go back to aspirin. And then it's very basic. The primary uh, endpoint is patient-oriented composite endpoint all cause their stroke, any myocardial infarction, and any clinically and physiologically driven revascularization. That's it. So I think it will be a, a very exciting uh, trial. Uh, Andreas is uh, one of the uh, uh, PI and uh, uh, will try to start as soon as possible. Exciting future ahead. I think I'm very excited about the Pioneer 4 trial. Um, that will enlighten us uh, as to the use of QFR on the one hand and uh, also give us more data and safety data for the Supreme.